Yeah, uh, my name is Sean Bo. I'm an engineer working on the Zcash team. Uh, so Zcash, if you haven't heard of it, is a cryptocurrency that we're building which uses zero-knowledge proofs to uh, trustlessly, or, or uh, to significantly increase privacy and fungibility on the blockchain. Uh, Zcash isn't what I'm going to be talking about today, though. I'm going to be talking about Pita Sudoku. It's a cool little side project that the company came to work on. Uh, Pita Sudoku is the world's first zero-knowledge contingent payment. And this is basically something that Gregory Maxwell came up with uh, like five years ago, which hasn't been done yet. Um, and so if everything goes well, I'll hopefully be able to demo this uh, for the first time on Bitcoin, or really in any cryptocurrency. Uh, we've, we've tested it in the test net, but I haven't tested it uh, in, uh, on the main net yet. So uh, I'm actually going to start the process of the zero knowledge contingent payment, because we have to wait for confirmation, and then I can actually uh, show uh, okay, yeah, uh, then, I'll, then I'll explain what's going on after that. So, give me one moment. Okay, it is starting. So, uh, <clears throat> right, so this is a, uh, a live demo, so it's almost certainly going to fail. Uh, there's no way it's going to work. So, please don't be disappointed, just be pleasantly surprised if it does work. Um, <clears throat> so, if you want to pay somebody to solve a Sudoku solution, and you can mentally sort of substitute Sudoku for anything that might be uh, like a hash function or uh, some sort of computation or an identity document or whatever protocol you're building, um, and you want to pay them to provide you the answer or the solution to the puzzle or whatever uh, over the blockchain, uh, you're, you're going to want to uh, use uh, a protocol something like this, uh, but there's some flaws. So, uh, Alice can provide the puzzle publicly and uh, send money to a redeem script. I'm not sure what that script would look like, but it would have to confirm that the person's uh, Sudoku solution is correct. Um, but there's some problems with this, obviously. Uh, this isn't cryptographically bound to the transaction. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, the first problem, actually, is that the script uh, is probably going to be gigantic. So for a big puzzle, like a 256 by 256 puzzle or something like that, it would probably be too large for you to store this in the blockchain. Um, the Bitcoin scripting system isn't really expressive enough to uh, do things that maybe it can do Sudoku, I don't know. There might be algorithms that are disabled that will let you do it, I don't know. But uh, in theory, uh, you, can, you can't really do every kind of computation in Bitcoin script or verify every kind of computation. Uh, another problem is that it's not private, so everyone else is going to discover the solution to the Sudoku puzzle. Uh, for example, or actually, uh, they'll actually discover the, the fact that you're even doing this payment as well in the first place, or what the puzzle is, and so on. Uh, and probably the uh, a, fi a fixable problem is that uh, it's not cryptographically bound to the transaction, and so uh, the miner could steal the, the, the money off the, the, the transaction if they'd like to. Uh, you can kind of fix that problem by sending the money to a particular person. This turns it into an interactive protocol, though. So, Alice sends money to Bob, uh, contingent on him providing uh, the answer to the Sudoku uh, puzzle that she wants an answer to, and uh, otherwise she can use checkbox time verify to get a refund if um, Bob does not provide that solution. Uh, so another problem that isn't mentioned here is that uh, Bob could be lying about having a solution in the first place and waste Alice's time, which yeah, he would have nothing to lose in doing so. Um, so Zero knowledge contingent payments can kind of fix this. Uh, Gregory Maxwell described this in 2011. Uh, it relies on two things an atomic swap over the blockchain, so you need to be able to uh, swap the pre image of a hash over a blockchain uh, trustlessly and atomically. And also an interactive zero knowledge proving scheme. Um, it, it, doesn't, it would be nice if it wasn't interactive, but it, it, in this case it is. Um, this uh, achieves uh, privacy, complete privacy of the Sudoku solution and the puzzle and so on, it's indistinguishable from any other kind of uh, zero knowledge contingent payment. All of them are, they'll, they'll look the same. Uh, and also, the transaction is very small. Um, and probably the best thing is that you can do it right now in Bitcoin, which hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate. So, um, the atomic swap is, is achieved by doing a hash time lock contract. This is similar to something you see in the uh, Lightning Network. Basically, Bob has a key K. And he sends the hash of that to Alice. Oh, whoops. And uh, 
using this script here, uh, Alice can pay Bob to disclose the pre-image of the hash. So um, if Bob, the only way that Bob can redeem this is by disclosing the pre-image. If he doesn't, then Alice can take the money back, kind of similar to the previous script. Uh, this is very similar to the one that Lightning uses, um, but uh, it doesn't use uh, write of D and uh, it doesn't use check sequence verify. Um, <clears throat> so like I said, uh, Bob has to disclose the key, Alice gets her money back if, uh, if Bob doesn't provide the uh, key, and um, the transaction is very big. It's pretty much the same as like a, the largest currently, or smaller than the largest currently accepted multi sig transaction. Um, so, uh, how would you do the zero knowledge contingent payment in general using this swap? Uh, let's say that Alice, and ge just generically speaking, Alice has a question and Bob needs to answer the question. Uh, Using a ZK snark, Alice can construct the ZK snark key, key pair, proving verifying key, and provide the proving key to Bob. And then Bob, uh, instead of sending the answer to Alice, can construct a key and then encrypt the key or encrypt the uh, answer with the key, and also hash the key and send those over to Alice. But then also um, construct the proof that uh, he's done all this correctly and send them over the uh, channel. So conceptually, it's not very difficult to understand. Uh, does there knowledge proof itself? Behaves like this. Basically, you have a question, a uh, hash, uh, which a hash of the key and an encrypted answer, and we basically prove uh, in zero knowledge that uh, the answer actually answers the question, and uh, the ciphertext is actually encrypted with the key of the answer, and the, the hash is correct uh, without disclosing um, A and K. So, uh, finally, Alice, once she has the proof, she just verifies the proof using uh, the information she was giving for Bob. And then Alice can decrypt uh, the solution as soon as uh, Bob attempts to or decrypt the ciphertext as soon as Bob uh, redeems it over the blockchain. So she gets the solution. Um, so some of the upsides: the transaction is uh, atomic, so it happens all at the same time. So you send your information just as you receive the money. Um, it's trustless. I don't have to trust Greg, and he doesn't have to trust me. Um, and I haven't mentioned that Greg Maxwell actually is like on the other side of an IRC channel. Right now, he's going to like do the demo with me. Um, the transaction is very small; it's completely printable, uh, and again, we can do it on Bitcoin today. There are some downsides, though. Uh, the transaction is interactive, so this is kind of an open question right now. We don't really know how to do this um, non-interactively. Uh, even though I am using a zk start, which is a non-interactive thing, it's just mostly as a convenience. We use a, a variety of different uh, zero knowledge proving schemes, I'm sure. Um, also, it's very inefficient to construct the proof. It takes 10 to 20 seconds for the demo I'm going to show you, um, uh, or, or minutes, depending on your hardware. Um, and also, the premium key is extremely large. In this case, it's 66, meg 66 megabytes, but it could be a lot smaller with some optimizations. And he, uh, Alice needs to send that to Bob, obviously, as part of the uh, contingent payment. So here's some statistics. Today on my demo, a 16 by 16 Sudoku on the blockchain uh, the key again is 68 megabytes. Uh, the thing is that, that you can amortize the cost because you only need to construct it once and you can send it to Bob. Um, and he can construct multiple zero knowledge contingent payments. Uh, obviously, this is more useful or less useful for Sudoku and more useful for some other kind of protocol which would leverage this. Um, the proving time, again, 10 to 20 seconds, but the proof itself is very small. 78 bytes and it doesn't need to be on the transaction, it doesn't need to be put on the chain. The verification time is incredibly quick. Um, most of the circuit is in the actual um, uh, stream cipher, uh, but uh, with, some in, with some optimizations, this could be improved significantly. Um, the rest of it is just uh, uh, the hash and the solution validity uh, isn't actually that big for this particular size to know who that can also be optimized somewhat. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, just wrapping up, this URL actually isn't active right now, but it will be after I'm done. Um, Big thanks to Gregory Maxwell for coming up with this idea and Peter Lilly for helping me um, do, all, do all the Bitcoin side of stuff. But Aris Verza for, for uh, the circuit help that he gave me, uh, Andrew Mosta for um, helping me get the blockchain for the last two days, uh, and Zcash for being me to work with this. Um, so, hopefully, yes, okay, so I will mirror my screen so that you can see. <clears throat> hopefully. Oh, okay. I don't know how much you can see or how dark it is or whatever. Um, so, 
that will kind of show you what happened when I launched it. Basically, I connected to uh, Greg. I already have the proving key because I didn't want to download the 68 megabyte proving key over this Wi-Fi. Um, <clears throat> he uh, generated a puzzle. He sent it to me. I solved it, and then I uh, generated a proof, just as I described. And then I also uh, uh, constructed a uh, data script hash transaction or a redeem script, and we exchanged keys. Uh, he sent the money. Apparently, I received it over the uh, blockchain, so um, it has zero confirmations right now, so I could press enter and we just spend it, but I kind of wanted to wait until we have one confirmation. So there's no guarantee that mainnet obviously is going to give me a block right now. I don't know any second it could, but... Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I can entertain any questions and then maybe I can just wait. Maybe we'll see if there's like one confirmation or something. What's that? Yeah, yeah. So if uh, right now, if I didn't provide the solution, then Greg can get his uh, transaction back. So as you can see in this window up here, I, you might not be able to read it very well, but uh, he's been posting uh, things about um, the, the actual output that he received. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, if if I didn't provide the solution to the Sudoku puzzle, he, he could really, uh, get a refund back using checkbox and her. Oh yeah, that, so this this uh, checkbox time verify only landed like two months ago, but it's on mainnet now. Uh, so. You never did say what streams I heard you use currently. Uh, okay, so it's kind of embarrassing. That's why um, I'm running shot to fifty six and counter mode. Uh, this is because I don't have a stream cipher uh, that's really nice and optimal and obviously secure uh, implemented in the start right now. But uh, I'm hoping to get one soon, maybe I can improve the performance of this. Uh, Shanti 56 and Cairo should work for this particular thing, but uh, whatever. Oh, and I think the most interesting thing about this is that you're able to use an arbitrary uh, your knowledge system. Um, you have group arbitrary statements. Um, not only arbitrary statements, but things uh, using the arbitrary proving system. Yeah. Um, and then somehow you're able to translate that into something that the Bitcoin never understand. I guess using the trick where what you're proving and all the hash and as well, and you can put those together. Yeah. Could, could you maybe say a little bit about that? Uh, so, yeah, we, we use a ZK Snark and uh, effectively anything that we can verify, or any arbitrary computation we can compute with that. Um, you'd have to ask Gregory Maxwell or someone else uh, specifically what kind of cool. Um, uh, things you could do is there are lots of contingent payments. Obviously, you could, uh, instead of Sudoku, you could do a uh, hash cracking contest, or you could do um, some sort of like cloud computation of some kind of solving some number theory problem. I don't know. Uh, you can also uh, do these identity document things. He, he actually has a list of things that there's a, a wiki article about zero knowledge contingent payments uh, that uh, you can read that shows some different things you can do. With it. But yeah, generally we can do any kind of computation to verify. Uh, as long as we encrypt it in this particular way, uh, then, it, then it does indeed work. So, <clears throat> I haven't gotten a confirmation yet, and I don't want to waste everyone's time. So, I think I'm just going to press enter, uh, which kind of sucks, but eh, I don't know. What do you think? Should I wait for confirmation? I don't know. If it's we it's an expectation, so. It is, or not. I mean, it's not trustless unless I do. Well, it's slightly more trustless. Do you trust Greg? I, no, I, I, I don't trust him until after the demo is over. Does anyone have one further question? We actually, okay, so we, we were doing testnet transactions all day, and um, uh, Greg put a ton of mining uh, hash rate onto the testnet, uh, but he moved it back to mainnet. I'm sure it's not enough to impact it anything, though. Um, one time until it gets to the point where it's like, eh, just a, Have you tried this with normal circuits? 
With, uh, so, no, we, the, the, you could do it, I'm sure, but uh, we haven't done that. Can you give us a QR code at the uh, for cash address? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I can't give you a QR code right now, but I could. Yeah, so uh, I think Gregory's going to post like a blog post about um, this transaction so you can see it, but you can actually see the redeem script um, right here if you want to do some OCR. <laughs> I don't know. Can you bring up the URL uh, before? Uh, the, the what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you talking about the PDF? This? Yeah, yeah, there was a link. Oh, yes, right. I'm sorry. Yes, so, like I said, that isn't active yet. I have to push, push the code up. Um, it's in a different repository right now, so I'll uh, have to do that. Whatever. Gosh, what am I going to get a confirmation? I don't know what fee he provided. Let's find out. Oh, really? Just one of those days.